So not long after we recorded the San Diego Comic-Con reveals, a couple of days later... D- oh, Daniel! Wait. Daniel! proto I'm coming in from the future! The future's beautiful! So much pretender shells! Oh my god. So like, much! To, to, the point, <laughs> to the point, literally, that people thought I might have known something or I was leaking something or someone's going to get fired. Um, everything that we discussed about in our pretenders part segment of the podcast uh, more or less <laughs> more or less hit right on the head here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a coincidence. I didn't know shit. Just to, just to get that straight right now. The way this um, team usually works is I know nothing, so... Yeah, and Wendell don't know... <laughs> I'm Wendell going asking all the shit, questions. So. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we're, we're going to address it anyways. Um, so th- this one slide... Uh, there's many slides, but we're going to address specific things in different segments. But this one slide mm-hmm. specifically um, talking about the uh, the Titan Masters and these pretender, these pretender shells, a lot of the stuff that we were speculating ended up becoming reality. And... Um, I'll tell you this right now, I am happy as a pig in shit, man, because <laughs> this is, again, all the stuff that I speculated was because it was stuff that I really enjoyed from Master Force or individual pretenders from the Marvel comics back in the day. And they just went straight for that. And once again, like I always say, the things that they choose is because it works on both sides of the ocean mm. uh, was the same case here. So... Um, you know, they show us waves one, two, and three of these Power of the Prime pretenders. I, I'm reading online that these pretender shells are being called decoys, just to have the uh, just to have the other license, I guess, tied up from the old decoys back in the day, the little rubber Keshigumu figures. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, that's just something I read online. I don't know if it's confirmed. Um, but so you have like these three waves that are revealed here in, in grand detail, even saying the names of the original 13 heads that are going to be part of it. And um, first you have uh, Cloudburst, um, which, again, totally something that's in Master Force. You know, like, that's going to be used for Master Force, and they're going to do something with Ma- like Master Force related with that, because that was a key character in uh, in the Master Force cartoon. And his uh, his spirit head, if you will, his Titan Master of the original thirteen is Micronus, which is the one of the Micronus Prime, one of the original thirteen, the one who was responsible for the mini cons. Right. Uh, then we have Liege Maxima. We already touched on that. Uh, the next one, which is once again straight up Master Force, totally Master Force, is Metal Hawk. Mm. I'm super stoked about this. More Metal Hawk <laughs> toys, the better. Um, and his uh, his spirit head, if you will, is uh, Vector Prime, which again is the prime of time and space. Um, so pretty cool that he has that one. Um, there's there's no real uh, major tie, by the way, before I move forward, um, between the choices of the primes and the characters themselves, because there's nothing that speaks small or you know mini conish with Cloudburst. Um, the original G1 character in the American side of things, uh, you know, didn't really have much of a, I don't know, how do I explain this? Didn't have much of a, a micro connection, if you right. will. And then going on the Master Force side of things, the character of Clouder, um, which is what Cloudburst was called in, in Japan, um, Clouder was just some Wolverine haired aircraft pilot Cybertronian. You know, like his human <laughs> form literally, literally has Wolverine's hair. Right. And I mean, there wasn't really, you know, nothing that says Micronus about him. So I think the choices of the heads are more just, well, we got to play them, place them somewhere. Yeah. Um, so that, you know, Vector Prime, you know, being with Metal Hawk, there's no big connection. They're both spaceship jets, I guess, the best I could say, you know, in their alt modes, but that's about it. Uh, going to wave two here, um, we have Submarauder, which again, totally straight up, this is looking forward to the whole Master Force thing, mm. because all three of the Beast Pretenders from the Bad Guys side are present here. Um, right. We know them as Skullgrin. On the American side, we know them as Skullgrin, Submarauder, and... Uh, <clears throat> 
and uh, uh, Bomburst, but mm. in Japan it was Blood, Duros, and Gilmer, and they're here. Like literally, each wave comes with one of them. So right. I'm totally seeing a box set in the future of the, the the you know. And the good thing is, is like these three, you don't even have to change them. They're they, that's how they looked in the Japanese version too. So awesome on that. Um, Sub Marauder, as mentioned before, uh, he comes with Alchemist Prime. Again, one of the original 13, just known more for, for alchemy and, and manipulating metal and everything like that in the original um, 13 book of the Covenant of Primus. Landmine, also known as Lander in mm -hmm. Master Force. Again, awesome that he got a, a toy and all these characters that we named in the last podcast that I was hoping would, would happen. So he's Alpha Trion. You know, don't really need to say much about Alpha Trion, one of the original 13, responsible for documenting all of the events, kind of like the Watcher, if you will. Yeah. Uh, going into Wave 3, uh, we got some going into the Marvel side of Pretenders. So, as we mentioned, Bludgeon. You know? Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the image that they use here for Bludgeon... Um, for the Pretender shell is actually the original G1 toy, so they obviously don't have... Um, I should probably mention this. Wave 1 and 2, they show what is going to be the actual Pretender shells that will be used for the toys. Wave 3, because it's so far ahead, the only images they use for Pretender shells are the original G1 toys. Oh, so, okay. so we don't know what those will look like coming down the line because I remember you mentioned like oh he could like lie down and have a tank mode or something you might be right yeah. you know when, when <laughs> nice. that comes um, who knows I got one <laughs> predict the f well you Maybe. already predicted again in Bludgeon's case but it's like and he comes with Quintus um, connected to what the Quintessons are with the original 13 uh, as I mentioned before Bomb Burst he's going to have something he's going to come with Megatronus which is the Fallen you mm -hmm. know and then the oh, last okay, one. Okay, I see. Okay, I understand now. Like, okay, yeah, that doesn't look like the fallen, like what it would normally look like. Yeah, and then okay. the last one, which again, I'm surprised we just like mentioned it in passing, and yet here he is, Octo Punch, <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's going to come with Solus, who's the the female Transformer and the the carrier of the Forge of Solus and stuff like that. So, pretty awesome. Like, and. What even makes me more happy about this is this is going to be the cheapest price point, yeah. meaning it's going to be the most accessible one for kids and and adults on on a budget. And you can actually, in all honesty, all. out of all the stuff revealed, it's the stuff I'm the most interested in. Nah. So I'm I'm very happy that the most interesting thing is also going to be probably the most enjoyable from my from my perspective. Anyhow, um, this is amazing. This is great. <laughs> uh, it's unfortunate that it's like we have like three waves in it shows literally up until the dates that are given here are the i believe they're the uh design dates when they were first designed that's why people uh, are, i don't think so it, well it's it's hard the, to say because the ending because the ending it says 2000 well it says 18 that well it's the only reason why i say that is because there's other there's other uh slides that kind of contradict that like i would mm. i want to believe what you're saying in the sense that those might be release dates but it's just like, man, that's that's really far out there. You yeah. know what I mean? So but either way, like there's there's three dates above them. We don't really know one hundred percent what they represent. They could be release dates. Um, but wave three is all the way in July of, of next year, of two thousand eighteen. So you gotta you gotta remember when it comes to marketing and all that kind of stuff, they've planned stuff well ahead totally you know yeah. that's why that's why when um you know video games or movies have to push back dates that costs money so imagine you have boxes printed up imagine you have print ads you need to run and all that kind of stuff and, and just the pre that Wendell's worked in that industry so he knows this stuff yeah so you know so you're going to be sitting on a bunch of printed product that you can't use and you have to literally burn and you have to eat that that money well, if you eat it either way i'm looking yep. forward to wave one come christmas if these dates are correct like, <laughs> this is i mean this to start off with metal hawk oh man i'm happy i'm happy as as hell like this is this is great that's why yeah, yeah that's why i'm assuming that those dates are the release dates at least that's what i would think i hope so i really you know, do because we're, we're already halfway through the year right now yep 
you know. So I mean, it would make sense that I would. That's that would be my guess. But you know, this could be wrong. Anything else you want to touch on these before we move on? More Bludgeon is awesome. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a character that I kind of dug out of the uh, Generations line when they put out that toy when we finally got the technology for that, and then seeing uh, the third party DNA take that design and go all the way with it with a more insane price point. Um, I'm just I just like that uh, we're getting proper G1 Bludgeon as he's meant to be kind of thing. So yeah, totally. I'm quite happy about that. 